welcome to another Caffeinated Entertainment video. It's Art here with a book review for a study in Charlotte, the first book in oops, the first book in the Charlotte Holmes series by Brittany Caviero or Caballero. I don't know how, how you say it. There could be a Spanish way to say it or a American way to say it. I don't know how she goes by it. Um, this is a modern take on the Sherlock Holmes Watson the Holmes Watson Holmes Watson friendship Sherlock Holmes is the great great grand niece of the famed detective Sherlock Holmes while James Jamie Watson is um, the great 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 grandson of Dr. John Hamish Watson um First, let me say where this book kind of let me down. Charlotte Holmes is female. Jamie Holmes, or James Holmes, is male. Which, to me, leads to not really seeing what I wanted to see out of this book. Which is, um... I wanted a sisterhood in this series. Uh, so that you could play off of it much like the bromance between John Watson and Sherlock Holmes is played off in the original canon and in many adaptations thereof. Um, that's what I wanted out of this. That's not what I get. And the, there is quite a bit of teenage or boyhood and girlhood sexual tension in the book. Uh, so that was the book's one and only downfall. Now let's talk about the good things that, of which there are many. Um, first off, the writing in here is paced very, very well. It is written to move, not written to stall. Uh, this is why it's a teenage novel and not an adult novel because teenage teenage or middle grade or upper middle grade like I'd say junior high or high school for American fans I don't know what that is for anybody outside of the US but junior high or high school uh, it would be perfect to read this it's perfect at any age but that's why it moves so very very well and that's why it is it flows well. It has many twists and turns. Brittany Caviero, um, or Cavallero, which, however you say that, is um, has a very, very well-paced writing style, a very, very well-crafted uh, writing tone. She's obviously read the Holmes Watson canon to get all sides that appear in the story. There's many, many uh, twists and turns that happen in, in the story. Uh, a school in Connecticut, Sheringford, um, is the backdrop for the first story. Uh, it's a good first story. Um, just really, really amazing. Really, really excellent. And really, really great. Uh, what else can I say about it? Oh, um, the dynamic between the Watsons, fa Watsons family and Holmes' fa family plays as a nice backdrop, a nice uh, background setting for the story in and of itself. Um, the way they meet Holmes the way that Holmes and uh, our Holmes and Watson, Charlotte and Jamie, meet in this series uh, feels a little bit rushed, but it does, in a lot of ways, feel natural. Uh, like I said, I wanted a sisterhood in this, didn't get that, so I can't give this a full five stars, but I can totally give it full a full on endorsement to be read it should remain on people's tbrs 
and this is how my Sherlock month read-along kicked off quite well. I'm actually on to uh, the last of August, which is book number two in the series. I will put the cover up here. It's green though. It's basically this writing style in green. Um, I will put that cover up here shortly. Uh, I may switch and do... Uh, um, I'm also reading Pirate King for the month. So that's my kind of the Sherlock Holmes reading month TBR update so far. We're only on the 8th of January, so we're kicking it off good, and we're almost two books down the rabbit hole, and the game is still afoot. So without further ado, I give this book a 4 out of 5 stars. A Study in Charlotte should definitely be read. This series has become not my most favorite. That goes to the Mary Russell Sherlock Holmes series by Larry R. King, but it is definitely up there as my second favorite Sherlock Holmes um, Holmes Watson adaptation four stars out of five great great book great great series just not all that I wish it could be uh, it's a definite read it uh, re recommendation from me and without further ado I make videos every Monday Wednesday and Saturday on this channel at 12 30 p.m. Central 10.30 a.m. Pacific and 1.30 p.m. Eastern. With that said, remember, for the whole month, the game is afoot. So happy reading, and I'll see you again soon. Peace. Peace.